Okay, if you've watched my previous video, you know what we're looking at now. It's a Boxford Model C lathe. It's quite an old lathe, probably 1949. And as I mentioned in the previous video, the half nuts are quite worn. Okay, so they've got a bit of a sawtooth pattern to them, which means that when I feed in one direction, they've got a strong tendency to jump. Okay, so they, they tend to jump off the Acme thread. And I had a think about this. I've thought about various ways of doing this. And this, um, what I've come up with now, seems to be by far the easiest solution. The inherent problem of this design, basically, uh, these, hang on, let me just see. I'm hand holding a phone. It's a little bit tricky. But these, these open and close like that on that pivot point. And there's no form of adjustment for this. So what have I done? Well, I am going to change these. So that's a bit that normally goes in there. I'm going to change those out for homemade ones, which have an eccentric. And here's, uh, obviously I haven't finished it yet, but the um, main parts of it are now turned. And so if you watch carefully as I turn this, you'll see that now I've got uh, a form of adjustment in there. OK, so actually quite a range of movement. So let's just see if I can pull this out. Sorry, it is quite, uh, quite it's made to fit. There we go. There we go. Uh, right, okay, so hopefully you can just about make that out. So there is an eccentric on there. Uh, this is like my prototype, so I'm not too bothered about the finish. Uh, it's actually cut from EN8, which probably a lot of you will say that you don't like turning anyway on a small lathe uh by the way i didn't didn't cut it on this lathe um yeah i've got another lathe here so uh, there we go uh that's the prototype i actually did it in a three jaw chuck believe it or not and i just put a little bit of packing in on one side worked perfectly fine um right okay so what i've got to do now uh i've got to cut this off to length i will then you know, something like that. I will possibly slot it on the milling machine or, yeah, whatever. I'm not sure. I might I might put a couple of flats on so I can put a spanner on there. I haven't decided. And uh, then also I've got to thread the end like so. And I think probably when I've, when I've done one, I'm going to fit it and uh, experiment and see if it's solved the problem now it might very well be that i need to make two of these uh, that's not really an issue they're quite easy to make make two of them and then i'll have pretty much full control over um, both the the clasping together and also a little bit forward and back movement as well because uh, i have had some doubts and, and i've posted some photos online and people have had some doubts about whether they're actually uh, correctly in alignment but um having this eccentric might be able to uh, allow me to adjust that um, so it's correct uh overall i think this is really it's it's not an ideal solution uh the ideal solution would be new nuts uh because really probably what i'm going to end up doing is more or less just like towing them in a little bit uh, however and if you watched the previous video you know what i'm talking about i did experiment by just popping a couple of set screws through there and locking them tight and just checking that the principle of towing these in a bit would actually um, have a, a good enough uh, purchase on the lead screw and it did so i think that this what i'm doing here is actually going to be successful okay that's it for now and um, maybe you'd like to try something similar or yeah possibly want to wait for the next video in which i hopefully will show you it working Okay, that's it.